Everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I promised a Lazarus run. We're going to do a Lazarus run. We're on 17 wins. I'm excited by this. I'm titillated by it. 06 BV CTM9. Admittedly, it's a little bit of a, it's a risk reward thing. What's my reward for playing Lazarus? I can't random the lost. What's my risk? Well, I haven't played Lazarus in a long time. These pills are a little bit of an interesting kind of conundrum. Okay, so that's, we kill ourselves and then pick up lard for sure. That's actually a really good get. Um, that should allow us to get back to actually the three starting HP with the Lazarus bonus uh, damage attached to it, which is actually a staggeringly good start. After forsaking uh, the, uh, the lard pickup on the last run, which was a very exciting but also strange run, uh, we get to uh, take it in a very convenient situation for ourselves here. Come on, give me a bomb. Like, I'm not trying to be rude. But a bomb would be fantastic right here, so I could... I, maybe we got a bombs or key pills somewhere in our rotation. There's a Tinted Rock. I would love to get Small Rock and the Lazarus Damage bonus here. Like, that would be really, really valuable. This Dingle Fight is going to be annoying. Just, you know, buckle up. We're here for the long haul. Don't forget, you're here forever. The real problem is just that we don't do very much damage. And, you know, we, we have no means of, like, dropping a bomb on this or something like that. Killing those dips super easily. They'll, they'll probably die in, like, two hits, but no. That can happen as well. To be fair, though, I guess we don't really care if we uh, get hit because we're going to be dying after this anyway. And ideally, um, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Ideally, we get the best possible boss room item. I was going to say, oh, ideally, we get some HP or something like that. But we're not going to need it with the lard pickup. So just give me whatever you're going to give me, and hopefully it's a damage, actually. So that's uh, a luck upgrade plus HP, which is fantastic. I say we just kill ourselves now. Go for broke. Thank God we have a period of invincibility to start back with there. Um, we can now start taking the pills. This is all just to see if it's a full health pill. Oh, explosive that. We can do something with that. <laughs> Get over there. Oh, we did it. It was so not worth it. That's all right, though. Okay, so we got anemic now as well. Uh, let's go pick up that luck upgrade. We're actually going to have more than Lazarus' starting HP. We got the positive luck plus the luck bonus from Magic Scab. We should explore the rest of the floor. Get enough money to spawn an arcade. Then we buy something from the shop on the next floor. You know, there's all sorts of things that could work out for us here. There's probably only like two more rooms. One of them is going to be a self-sacrifice. Oh, a curse room. A curse room. Uh, how very interesting. No question, though. Uh, you know, Lazarus is the right character to have. Well, who knows, but... Lazarus is a character that benefits heavily from this seed. Lots of HP on the first floor, a good opportunity to kill ourselves, and yet still be more comfortable than we otherwise might be heading down to the next floor. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm! Very dangerous. We got a spirit art out of it, which is what I was hoping for, but man, that was almost like a fatal selection of pills. <laughs> that was... That could have gone better, let's just put it that way. And now I'm not as, yeah, as excited as I used to be about how this next floor is going to go, but... The Spirit Heart, you know, there, there's something valuable contained within that. This is a big one for us, this would be like win 18, which would mean that we could get to win 20 without having to do a random run. Which just insulates us from the, you know, almighty loss possibility, which is nice, but... Um, you know, you still got an Eden run, and who knows what happens on the Isaac runs in there as well. Anything can happen. In the meantime, though, what do we need? More damage. More damage, more tears. I'm still happy with this Lazarus situation. Like, it, it actually has worked out well for us. Even though we got, like, the worst conceivable selection of pills there um, on that curse room, we're still in a golden spot. A, a much better spot than you would normally be in at this point with Lazarus on an average run. So, an average Lazarus run anyway. So, it's great stuff. I can't uh, complain too much. Even Bob's Rotten Head is usable. There, There is a Tinted Rock here, so I'm just going to put this away. Kill our enemies the old-fashioned way, and then use the uh, Bob's Rotten Head to blow up the Tinted Rock. Because we did miss a couple. Uh, maybe we missed zero on the last floor, but it wasn't easy to get them. There we go. Pick up another one of those. Alright, well, I, I was thinking maybe we'd come down this way instead. <laughs> There's a Tinted Rock here, so we'll probably save our next Bob's Rotten Head play. Yeah, we still will, because you never know when we're going to get rid of Bob's Rotten Head and, and we'll want these bombs left over. Even though it would be nice to have a Bob's Rotten Head play ready for our boss. You know, we're on the basement, so we don't expect our boss to be that difficult. 
This is all about, like, last run's leftovers. Bob's Rotten Head showed up once or twice, uh, today at least, and, uh, Lard showed up on the last run and I said no to it. All of a sudden, we're repurposing them into a situation that's actually quite useful. Bob's Rotten Head is a three-room charge? Has it always been a three-room charge? For some reason, I was thinking it was a two-room charge. So if we want to make Bob's Rotten Head super valuable, what we need is, uh, nine volt and trickle charge. I have a feeling that's probably not going to be in the cards for us. I think if we do this, it should be fine. Yeah, we'll open it. And I'm very happy with the way that worked out, actually. I think we traded a key for a bomb and a bunch of money and a spirit heart. That's pretty good. I think we get rid of Bob's Rotten Head immediately. And then we take Pandora's Box with us instead. Pandora's Box will use on the next floor, much to the chagrin of people who would rather you save it for the cathedral, so you can give yourself a 99% chance, in my experience, of getting holy water, but... Basically, just a, a free boss item on the next floor, and it opens up the, the spacebar slot quickly for whatever item you might find uh, to, to fill it in, in its stead, which I think is... Justifiable, let's put it that way. Alright, we got Monstro. Yes, we do, we got Monstro, how about you? All of a sudden, we got five bombs. And a uh, guaranteed deal with the devil, unless I throw harder than I've ever thrown before. And as much as I would like to ask for a traditional run, I've been having so much fun on these very strange runs, so... I don't really know what to ask for. You know what would be nice? An ingredient of a traditional and strange runs alike. The mirepoix of good Isaac runs. Death's Touch. Haven't had it in a little while. It, it works so well with so many other items. Give me Death's Touch and I'd be very happy. Synth Oil is also really good. Well, we're gonna take it. I've had too many angel runs on this streak to feel like uh, I can afford to give up deal with the devil precedent. So we're gonna be slow. Boss Rush is probably not gonna happen for us in this run. Uh, you know, we're only like 30 seconds behind schedule, but it's the, the pace is what uh, makes me think that we're gonna be a little slow, but that's fine. Lots of HP, lots of survivability on top of our base HP. And this, you never know how important this could be, right? What do you think? not use a key and instead try to find our secret room uh it's not gonna be there all right i don't mind using a key if we gotta punching bag is okay in most situations sometimes you don't want it but i'm happy to have it here and the pact for free pays for itself and also gives us this nice little damage and tears bonus so i'm excited by that and we're back up to 15 cents as well all right well we got six bombs on the second floor that is like the ultimate, especially when all of these rooms are eliminating themselves from secret room contention, it's the ultimate, like, fuck you, go find the secret room impetus for us. And... Uh, this is one of the few times I actually might have preferred counterfeit penny because we need a trinket, but five cents is nothing to sneeze at. Do we have anything in here? We already bought Pandora's box. I think we should buy a key. Just to guarantee ourselves, uh... The ability to go to our shop on the next floor, probably. Could have used Hanged Man to go into the cursor room without taking damage. Might have been worthwhile. Probably a second secret room here. Okay. Well, if no second secret room there, we'll Occam's Razor it a little bit, come back here, and hopefully get an Eternal Heart right here. No. But I will blow it up. Three bombs. In return, we get one bomb, one penny. It's not the most horrible trade. On It's basically is one cent. Is, is our two bombs worth one cent? No, they're worth, like... I mean, at market value, they're worth 10, but in practice, they're worth a little bit less than that. But still, at least we got something back. We didn't get nothing back. It's weird. Uh, Pageant Boy, effectively, we got rid of Bob's Rotten Head for, like, two cents. If you're not following my reasoning there, we paid seven cents for Pageant Boy. Seven cents and Bob's Rotten Head took... Or, not, not for Pageant Boy. Well, yes, indirectly for Pageant Boy, but... Um, for Pandora's box, and then it gave us like nine cents back. That's our second lard drop, but I'm gonna take it. Uh, our our speed is gonna suffer, no question about that. But uh, having the extra HP for future devil deals is, you know, worthwhile. I would like to pick up some speed upgrades or the ability to fly, but that's uh, something we can worry about in a little bit. For now, I'm just excited that we got the pact, and we're one-shotting easy enemies. We gotta try this. I was like, maybe we'll wait for our spacebar item to be charged. Oh, wait. A health down pill, uh, in many ways may actually beat a hanged man card. Because we can use this to gain some extra HP on a deal with the devil. We can also use our hanged man card on that last room, uh, like two rooms ago, actually, where we had the, the chests that were inaccessible to me. 
I think we're making we're putting together a streak of good decisions on this run. And that's gonna lead to that's gonna lead to a real chance of greatness and redemption here. We can also just get three cents for it right there, but I think it's more valuable to use it here. There's three cents, and well, we paid a key for that, but there's another like four cents on top of it. Half red heart largely irrelevant, but still. Decent. Oh right, I can't fly anymore. Well, there goes the spirit heart. <laughs> it was it was good while it lasted. Me thinking I was somewhat intelligent there. I think we're just going to use keys for this instead of uh, risking two bombs instead. Definitely none habit, even though we have nothing to go with it yet. Spirit heart. I'm not very, I'm not feeling very smart about that, at least. Um, spirit heart, we may consider going back for it, depending on how my HP looks soon. Uh, I've made some egregious errors on this room, on this floor. Both of them are true. Let's fight the Fallen and see how this works out for us. This could be a really good opportunity. Especially if we get Fallen, then deal with the Devil, and it's a huge deal with the Devil. Like a couple of items, one of them being like a two-heart deal. Then we can use our health down pill and just like basically clear the queue of like all these strategic interests that I've got at my disposal. Man, I have thrown super hard here. We're going to take Guppy's Collar. We, it, it's not incredible for us, but we're going to take it. We're a little bit behind schedule still. Not that I'm super worried about, and I'm more worried about our HP after that, you know, incredibly poor series of form there. I think this could be our secret room. I think it's relatively likely. And we'll blow it up again. Two bombs for three cents. It's not a good deal at this point. <laughs> we're, we're starting to get to the point where we don't want to trade our bombs for pennies anymore. Our financial situation is acceptable, especially when you factor in that we've got probably like a 30% chance of fighting greed on this run and either getting a bunch of money or getting a steam sale. Either way, though, it's still a very strong run. Didn't necessarily get stronger here, but it, it gained a foundation for strength. Of course, if we can get uh, two more guppy items now, all of a sudden, this run looks like a sure win, but we're, we're well away from that right now. Monstro's Lung. I'm not sure if it helps, but I love it. It is going to have a, a super high like charge time associated with it for now, because our tier stat is good because of the pack, but not nearly as good as it was at the end of the last run. But this is... it's nice. It's very solid. And could synergize really well with a variety of items I'm, you know, very inclined to take on a regular basis. Any form of piercing shot. Homing shots. Death's Touch, man. I know that's a form of piercing shot, so I'm kind of double dipping on that one. But for real... Death's Touch will be so nice now. And we do have this monster, not Monstro's Lung. Yes, Monstro's Lung, but uh, we do have Nun's Habit as well. Getting my apostrophe items mixed up. Uh, with Nun's Habit, there's a lot of great space bar items that could really take us to the next level as well. Very disappointing there. Used our last bombs to access a room that we have no uh, special interest in. But if it had been an Eternal Heart, I would be singing my own praises right now. So we really should have a deal with the devil here on this floor. You should have a good chance at it, at least. Also, we should have an arcade, or at least should have a chance at an arcade. Well, okay, let's be strictly true. We do have a chance at an arcade. <laughs> we just don't know whether that chance has panned out yet. If it does, we'll be able to access that boss trap room, and you never know what kind of greatness you might find inside of the boss trap room. Still, you know, despite our lack of speed, still fast enough to get away from these guys. Oh, I guess that's, um, uh, punching bag working well for us. That's a very disappointing place for a rune to spawn, and I will rack my brain wondering what the heck it could be. Come on, maybe like a... I know that this doesn't benefit from Nun's Habit so much, but a red candle pickup would be nice. Greed fight is fine if it cements us the ability to go to, you know, shops in the future. I don't want to say future shops, you know, R.I.P. That's the joke that only makes sense to Canadians. We had, okay, so Canada had its own electronics uh, mega store called Future Shop for like 25, 30 years. And then Future Shop was owned by the American company Best Buy. And then like 15 years ago, Best Buy moved into Canada. We ended up with this weird situation where there would be like a mall, or not even a mall, but like a, a, a strip mall sort of in every city that would have like a Best Buy right next to a Future Shop and you're like, well, they're owned by the same company, it doesn't make any sense, why are they both open? And then, this year, they closed all the Future Shops and they're like, well, we have like Best Buys in every single place we have a Future Shop, so it doesn't really make any sense. I agree. 
It really doesn't. Also, as much as I would love to have some nostalgia for Future Shop, I bought a lot of a lot of parts there over the years, and I hated it. They fuck it. Well, it's not they. It was the salesman. I was like 12 years old, and I needed a USB cord. I didn't know anything about them. This is back in like like 1999, 2000. So don't be too. Oh, you didn't know anything about USB cords? Come on. Anyway, um, I was 12. Shopping by myself in the store, and the salesman was like, Yeah, you could get that, like, cheap USB cord, but look at this one. It's gold-plated, you know? It's got a lifetime warranty. It'll last longer. So I spent, like, 50 bucks on a USB cord because this salesman talked... Uh, USB cable, sorry. But it, this salesman talked like a naive child into buying it so he could get a little extra commission. That's fucked up, man. Same thing... And I, I know a lot of people watching this probably work at GameStop and or Electronics Boutique, depending on which one, you know, what country you live in. But um, I think it's fucked up that every time I went to EB Games as a kid, by myself, I'd be like 13 or even younger. And the, the clerk would be like, hey, do you want to pay like the extra $3 to get the, uh, you know, guarantee on the game? Just in case you scratch the disc, you know, you can come back and, and we'll replace it. And I was like, nah. And they're like, dude, you should really get the guarantee. I'm like, yo! That's some predatory sales tactics. You know, it's predatory on adults. But children who are shopping unsupervised, that shit is, like, real sketchy. So, uh, I know that, you know, if you are an employee of, of GameStop, they have policies that are designed to basically get you to upsell as much as possible. And I, I don't blame the sellers so much for that. I blame the managers. I'm just saying that shit is sketchy as hell, man. Kids will do it. Kids trust you, man. Most kids, anyway. And they don't have a... I don't know, this sounds like I'm being perhaps a little too fair, but, you know, they don't have the responsibility to do their research on that stuff as much, I think. They're just like, you know, I just want to buy this game. And then somebody's like, hey, do you want to buy... Do you want to pay a little extra for that game? And it'll, uh, you know, uh, if you ever break it, it'll be fine. Most people break games, obviously, because we live in a society of incredibly clumsy people. Burns me up, man. But it burns me up a little bit. So, the, let's talk about this run. The, uh... I'll do it. I regret this. Uh, the Goat Head pickup, really, really nice. The Super Bandage pickup, really, really nice. Does make it in... Uh, I thought we did, like, a little nice stutter step to not have to deal with that. Um, the Super Bandage makes it extremely unlikely. I was hoping we'd get some uh, creep down there, and we actually did. Uh, Super Bandage makes it extremely unlikely that we're ever going to be able to use this health down pill effectively, but you're telling me there's a chance. I say we look for our uh, second secret room again and head down to the next floor. We're like one full floor behind Boss Rush. It's fine. The Goat Head will allow us to get a deal with the Devil here. So maybe the Super Bandage gives us HP, but Goat Head allows us to... Uh, Spend that HP, and maybe we'll be able to use that health down pill. I don't know why I'm so attached to it. Oh, my God. No blood bank on this floor, and then you give me that little tease? Like, 12 red hearts in there? What's in our deal with the devil? We've already fought Krampus. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll take Sacrificial Dagger. I don't think there's any point in taking Razor Blade. You're, gonna, you're not going to like it, because, you know, what if you get Isaac's heart? Well, I'll deal with that when it comes, I guess. And also, it's going to make it less likely to use our health down pill in the future. But anyway, I can't focus on that as, like, the principal thing in our meta. We're still a little bit away from really knocking this one out of the park, but we're so close. We're on the cusp. I don't know why I said that so weirdly, but it felt good. We're on the cusp. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. Diarrhea. Oh, here we go again. My, my. Don't eat the mole. Probably shouldn't be going as deep on that as I did, but whatever. Okay, we made it out of there. Thank God our rate of fire is not too bad. That, would, that could have gone a lot worse. We're killing enemies pretty quickly here. Hey, a health upgrade. That's good. Although I can't help but feel that it... No! Stop talking about the health downgrade, man. Maybe you get to use it, maybe you don't. Also, I didn't even mention it, but... Uh, fuck Super Bandage. Biggest pickup on the last floor was... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Biggest uh, upgrade on the last floor was definitely Curved Horn for that plus two damage. I'm assuming that's what it actually is. Still going on hearsay there. It's of incredible value, man. Plus two damage. That's not easy to come by. Should start blowing up some skulls, uh, I think. Tinted Rock? I don't see them. 
No, I don't see it. Um, blow up some skulls, get some black hearts or like a you know a hero font card or something like that. We got all four there. I'm surprised actually. Judgment. We don't need to blow up because we're gonna get a deal with the devil no matter what. So we might as well play this judgment and get uh, hopefully HP or mapping out of it or you know whatever he wants to give me. Spirit hearts as well. The bean. Honestly, we don't have uh, a spacebar item. So as much as I think the bean is kind of absolute shit, I used to sort of like it, uh, but it's. It's radius of attack is like so low, but hey, it's something, you know? Maybe the maybe more valuable than some actual HP for us. At this present moment at least. Uh don't think we're gonna get more than two on that one, so might as well just do it this way. Might get four. Including a two of diamonds, which will just pop right away, because, you know, 80 cents is pretty good. I don't really like uh, teleport, honestly. I prefer something like the bean that we can use at least a little bit offensively. You might get on my case about not using the bean on every single room, but I kind of feel like there's no point in using the bean on a lot of these rooms. If I can kill the enemies with one barrage of Monstro's, uh... Oh, that's so good. Of Monstro's Lung, uh, that, that seems much more efficient to me. Would love some consumables there. We have a Tinted Rock. This is Depths 1. Well, Necropolis 1. You get the idea, though. Okay. We are in a slightly risky situation. Yo. Thank God we got Gimpy to pay out there, at least. We can't... Uh, we can take a 3 Spirit Heart deal, but it's a little scary, you know? Now it's not. I thought we already fought Krampus. Maybe that was our last run. Yo, he re <laughs> he turned on a dime there. Okay, well, this is good. This is good. The the lump of coal pickup is nice. Uh, we got some bombs. No keys, but the bombs are good. Fantastic. Uh, we got to use our key on the shop. And how awesome would a blood bank be on the next floor now? With Gimpy. That's acceptable. Uh, the fact that we one-shot Super Greed is very encouraging. We will blow this up, hoping for, like, Cricket's head. Honestly, that's still pretty good. Um, what, what do I do now? Where do we go now? <laughs> I need, like, an assistant next to me to be like, just cut it. Don't, don't do that anymore. Your Axl Rose impression is not even... It, it's not evocative of anything. It's just repulsive. really thought that would work a little better. Um, I'm happy to have all these red hearts, and, you know, you can probably understand why pretty easily. Red hearts mean blood bank plays, or, well, blood bank or demon judgment, and demon judgment or blood bank plays mean little gimpy payouts. Or, it's not little gimpy, it's just a regular size gimpy. Hey man, that's not cool. Oh, it worked! We lost, like, a spirit heart in the process, but it worked! Um, can we get that pill? We don't want it. At least the other one's easier to grab. Alright, uh, that's good! That, that was good. We lost a spirit heart in the process, but I think, you know, you can probably justify it. Lump of coal with Monstro's lungs should be helpful. And we got one more floor with item rooms to work this out, and, and shops. Oh, careful. Um, no red chest. I still think it's worth it, though. We're, we're fairly strong right now, so I, why not take every available possible advantage? The, not a good use of the beam there. Uh, the speed down is awful, too. Real disappointment, especially considering we picked up lard twice on this run, but amazingly, I still seem to be able to move semi-decently here. Could be worse. A tears downgrade really affects us because of the monstro's lung picks up pickup, but um, we don't have to worry about that because we didn't get one. We will check that out. Obviously, health up. Oh man, we're never gonna be able to use this health down now unless we get Guppy's uh, paw. We do have an all Guppy item. We should recall, but all right, uh, we're out of this floor then. I'm gonna open that golden chest over there now. I still think this is a pretty one run. At least it has the elements of a one run. We're just not quite literally there yet. All right, <laughs> worth it, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna look for a second secret room there because I, I believe that I will probably get hit by one of those fires, and I don't really want an eternal heart right now. Basically, we're we're already very 
very well stocked on HP. I want damage upgrades. I want I want DPS upgrades. Cricket's head. A, a live bomb. You know, there's something to be said for that. Some gusto. Hello, Kate. Hi. Hello. You made me a wrap. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was very kind. Now we do have a double key room here. I don't want to reroll this run. I've worked for this run. Gosh darn it. But if we get the opportunity to go in there, I will at least check it out. It's my third priority after the item room, which we just got Rainbow Baby on, and our shop, which uh, if it has greed, I'm going to be very disappointed. Because we can, even if the shop sucks, at least we can give something to our donation machine, you know? Also, what am I hoping for on this run? Jesus Christ. I am hoping for uh, an arcade because a blood bank could provide me with a lot of serious use here. All right, so there's our shop. Rate of fire just a little bit longer than I'd like to admit. A torn photo pickup would be really nice. Counterfeit pennies a little too little too late. Uh, we don't want the pills at this point. I do want the key. I mean, we, sorry, we don't want a little baggy. Bad trip is better. We will take this, and then we'll try to donate as much of this as we can. I'm going to take a delicious hit of this wrap. That's exquisite. And gross. I shouldn't be eating while I'm recording. Mmm, okay. Enjoy the chewing sounds momentarily while I finish this up. I treat, like, given lunch meta... The same as a reroll on Isaac. I didn't even look at what was in it, but I can tell you. We got some ham, for sure. I can see the tortilla. It's like some kind of ancient grains or something like that. You know, this is a standard tortilla. Maybe, like, gussied up a little bit. We have uh, three keys. Let's go back here and check and see if what our double key room is all about. Definitely some freshly cooked bacon in there, which is awesome. A little tomato, red onion. Cheddar cheese. And if I'm not mistaken, that might be a fine honey mustard. Delicious. I'm looking forward to you in 23 minutes when this run finally, fi finally finishes. Please. Not a 1 or a 6. Okay, it's not a reroll room at all. Careful what you wish for, I guess. Very content with our existing trinket. Uh, it's going to take a lot to get me to leave this behind. I will access this, you know. We can start our key ascendancy later. For now, I'm just happy to have what we have. We've already donated to our donation machine. Just give me money equals power. I'm not going to say we've earned it necessarily, but we we can make such good use of it that it would be very kind of you to sort that out for me. Oh, that's beautiful. We might be able to get a red chest in here. This run's not quite as cut and dry as the, the one that we had recently, or the, one, the ones that we've had recently. Oh, please. Well, the spirit arts are well worth it. I don't even, what the, I don't even know if I want to go back there now. This is very strange. It's like a second bad trip pill. Oh, another pretty fly is good. Um, did we open the last chest? We did, so actually we don't have to fight these guys, which is maybe good. You know what? We don't even want an arc. <sighs> we should still look for it. Why do we want an arcade? Well, we don't benefit from Gimpy because we're at the HP cap. We don't want Blood Bag. We don't want IV Bag. But if there is, okay, <laughs> never mind. But I was going to say if there's a demon judgment in there or a judgment, we could still, um get some benefit from it. It's unfortunate because now we know that our... Oh, what did we get with our deal with the devil here? We got a freaking pretty fly. It's not bad. A free pretty fly. No one's going to say no to it, but it's... Uh... Oh, there could still be an arcade up here. I thought this was our boss room for some silly reason. Um, no one's going to say no to a free pretty fly, but I'm, I'm looking for those guppy items. Forgot that uh, I'm not the only entity here that creates creep. I was way off, dude. We were one room away from the boss rush. Not even close. Alright, so this is definitely the Polaroid. Alright. Uh, that means we're not going to really improve ourselves because the Polaroid does not benefit us right now. Well, it doesn't directly benefit us, easily at least. There are some situations in which we could make it work for us. Like if we got Guppy's Paw, for example. But, for now... Let's ignore this. Curse of the Maze, not that big of a deal. Just a little annoying. And we'll uh, we'll move on here. That's not worth it, I think, at this point. Thanks for the teleportation there. I appreciate it. We're going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. Uh, it can't be Krampus. 
Two guppy items gives us a win. Death's touch gives us a win. Nothing? Probably, it still gives us a really good chance at a win. Um, I'm trying to think of what else there could even be contained in there. I mean, there's lots of Sister Maggie, Brother Bobby, blah, blah, blah. Um, we probably, despite our, like, prodigious amount of HP right now, I'm not really in the market nor the mood to take shitty deals with the devil just because we can. Even something like, ah, we should probably take Humbling Bundle, or, uh, you know what I mean. We'll use this here, just because Bad Trip is a little bit better in bad situations. Like, it, it can save our run, whereas Hero Font will help, but it's not going to save our run. If you know what I mean. Lots of red hearts here. Um, yeah, I don't. Maybe we should take uh, contract from below. But I'm getting ahead of myself already. We shouldn't worry about this too much. Just play the floor, and you know we'll we'll deal with the items that we're actually given at the end of it, which is right here. Somewhat surprisingly, there's a tinted rock up here. Small rock, man. Come on, come on. Well, I blew that one, but we killed him. Small rock. Small rock. That's okay. Mama Gertie. Oh, you know what would actually be awesome? The ability to fly. Which I had not considered until this exact moment. Despite it being one of the most common uh, items that you can get in the game. Ah, we got out of it without getting hit. Not that it mattered. We had HP out our ass waiting for us. It's unfortunate, man, but like, Horror of Babylon does nothing for us unless I get Guppy's Paw. I don't... Well, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll take it, and we'll take Ghost Baby as well. Because we have this HP right here, and we can just go pick up a Spirit Heart. So we really didn't lose out... Oh, we picked it up already. Uh, like, just now when we walked out. We really don't lose out on anything by doing this. We we traded... We got Ghost Baby and Horror Babylon, which will probably be never never be useful. But we... The, the cost for them was only turning a Red Heart into a Spirit Heart. Which, at this point in the game, is not a big deal. So now, um, if, if we're at all nervous about this run... It comes down to the chest, basically. If we can get good items on the chest, uh, we're sorted. If we can't, we're going to have to work a little bit harder, but the game has done a good job of providing us with a nice base to work with here. Really hoping, probably obviously, that this is the way to the boss fight. Just the, you know, the faster that we can get through this uh, horse hockey, the easier our life is going to be. Lots of red hearts, and I mean, that's not bad, man. I'm not going to be too mad about not being at the HP cap. It's all about just surviving at this point. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable right now. I've been more comfortable with recent runs, but I'm pretty comfortable with this one. And you know what sold this one? All those HP upgrades, man. So, so many pills. Two lard pickups, one of them very early on. Uh, that's, that's really the bread and butter of, of what's making this run... As, as relatively strong as it is right now. We'll get that key. We need that key. I'm assuming, even though we just hit a dead end there, I'm assuming this has to be the right way. Doesn't make any sense if it's not. We've gone through so many rooms. And we're actually doing, like, quite a lot of, uh, of damage. We're getting through these rooms quickly. Please. Takes forever for that guy to pop up. Every bomb is valuable right now. Every key is valuable. I never really got to the point where I could start, you know, freestyle wrapping Binding of Isaac items into a little ditty. Every bomb is valuable. Okay, except for that one. Let's be reasonable. Not every bomb is valuable. Just the ones that are really close by and allow me to get some overwrought discussion fodder. And our damage is really good. I know we have Horror of Bat, or not Horror of Bat, well we do, but I know we have Lump of Coal, but uh, I'm still liking getting in there early, which is actually a bad decision. So I'm glad I thought about it, and we'll head up to the next floor. This wrap is taunting me, man, the freshly cooked bacon. Just sitting there, we're getting cold and slightly chewy, but still pretty delicious. Yo, I'm not one of those people that's like, you know, when does the narwhal bacon, <laughs> Like, I, I don't put bacon, salt, and bacon on everything. But I think you'd, there's like a little anti-bacon backlash now to that side of the community that is like, you know... Oh, ba why does everyone talk about bacon so much? It's not that good. Yo, bacon is still delicious. You might not like all of the community that has sprung up around the, the cured meat of the gods. However, bacon is still fantastic. And I say, say this as someone who, you know, 
Give me the choice. I'll go off on a long tangent about Canadian bacon versus female bacon versus back bacon versus ham. None of which are the same. Some similarities, admittedly. Um, however, it's it's rendered pork fat cured in salt. It's it's delicious. It's got a flavor unlike anything else. Sure, oh, pancetta's better. Yo, I don't know about you, but I don't live in Italy's Rome. I'm, I'm, you know, I've had pancetta before. Can't get it on a regular basis. Kevin O'Leary here, eating pancetta all the time. Oh, can I have a pancetta and eggs, please? Yo. Don't disrespect the cultural significance of the cured meats. Is all I'm trying to say. Um... Bit risky this, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. Not risky at all, apparently. Overblown for a little bit of drama. Thank you, Ghost Baby. I appreciate your contributions to the squad. Yo, that never should have happened. Other big items for us on the chest. I feel like I asked for this uh, on the last run, or maybe two runs ago. Any invincibility. Celtic Cross, Virgo, Unicorn Stump, huge pickups. Not just for survivability, but for the ability, we need that obviously, for the ability to deal more damage with our orbitals. You know what, I'm going to try it. I think we're going to get one more key. I regret this decision immensely. Uh, ooh, it's going to work for us. And the, don't get involved in the bacon wars, man. I've had all different types of bacon. I've had, uh, you know, American-style bacon, Canadian bacon, female bacon, back bacon, uh, you know, European or UK-style bacon rashers. I like them all. You know, they all have their place. I really liked bacon rashers for a long time. And I think, you know, if you're getting into the, the fight, oh, what's better, Canadian, or not Canadian specifically, but uh, American bacon or, you know, UK bacon rashers, you're missing out, man. We should be celebrating... Uh, a, a food that the whole world enjoys in various forms. You know, we should be having festivals. And, you know, Canada brings a bacon poutine. Belgium brings some bacon moules frites. That's not uh, probably a proper uh, Belgian accent there, but you get the idea. You know, I can't have an accent for every country. You can, but I'm not that polyglottish. Polyglottish? No, it doesn't really work. Okay, so we... Should be sorted on this run, and I can't tell you how excited I am to be uh, really on the cusp of pushing this run to a 20 streak. It would be the first one we've had, I think, since January. Let's not get too cocky yet. Common Cold, Charm of the Vampire, Hot Bombs Miter. This is a very, very solid selection of items. Common Cold helps, Charm of the Vampire helps, Miter hopefully helps a lot. Unfortunately, we're still like a little... Less powerful than I would have liked to have seen, knowing we had Monstro's Lung on this run as early as we did. It would have been cool to see, like, some piercing shot stuff show up. And maybe we'll get that. You know, we have slightly higher than default luck. <laughs> we could get a, a chest or two. But, um, yeah. It, it, it could have been better, but, hey man, a win is a win. And we worked for this one. You know, this is not one that was handed to us at all. We didn't get, to, you know, 12 guppy items or, you know... Mom's Knife, Brimstone, we have Goathead, or we had, well, we still have it, I guess, but we had Goathead and we still didn't really get uh, fed on Deals with the Devil. We have a Horror Babylon that we can't even use. We And, let's not forget, we never got to use our GD Health Down Pill, the ultimate slap in the face. Maybe I should have taken the Razor Blade, man, I don't know. It's not a huge problem, it looks like we're going to get out of this just fine. Piercing Shots is the difference between this room taking a minute, like it did, and this room taking, like, four seconds. Oh well. Just trying to figure out the spine of the room right now. The spine of the floor, I should say, and, uh, pretty soon we should have it sorted. Figure out which direction we need to go in. Not really interested in the secret room, I'm sorry to say. Oh, we're trapped. Oh, he went for my best friend, or uh, punching bag instead. Huge help. And we got very lucky to not get hit there. He's got to change directions at the drop of a hat. That's got to be an antiquated phrase. What does that mean? At the drop of a hat. Is that some, is, is hat dropping something that normally precedes, uh, you know, some kind of change? 
Is it a reference to graduation where people, uh, you know, shoot their hats in? Well, they don't shoot their hats in the air, but you get the idea. Come on, good tarot card. That's why I kept you around. Ooh. <laughs> um, I think we just maybe like play you once and then do this and then blow you up because I don't trust you. Lovely. That extra spirit heart uh, could be meaningful. I hope it's not, but it could be. Now, that's Gimpy really helping out there. We should get as many poison little aspects in here as we can. That was not a good uh, way to handle that fight, I've now realized. And that's good to learn, man. It's good to learn that stuff early, that we don't want to do that. Thank you, Charmer the Vampire, for healing me up a little bit. It's good to learn early that we don't want to sacrifice our life to, uh, you know, trying to do orbital damage. Some, um, bleh. On some runs, that's a viable strat. On this run... Apparently not. Life goes on. Still got this bad trip hill. And this is like a carbon copy of the last uh, situation. The last run. When we fought Blue Baby. I'm like, I have a lot of HP. And Monstro's Lung. My damage isn't quite as high as I'd like it to be. But it's pretty good. Uh, and I have a full health ability. It's a different one. We had the sun on that one. On this one we got a bad trip. But um, either way. Weird how we've kind of come full circle there. Mysterious Liquid is fine. Uh, we'll do a little bit of extra damage to Isaac, I think. Hard to tell. Or Blue Baby, sorry. It won't do any extra damage to Isaac. Because he's been dead for ages. It's weird, you know. Do we get more of a damage bonus from being far away from Lump of Coal? Or do we get more of a damage bonus from getting up close so that our shots cluster and, and hit more instead of having more time to diverge, you know? I don't know. Either way, we've uh, we've come out of this one just fine. We can start to get in there and actually deal some, you know, up close and personal damage if we're interested in doing so. Alright, you know what? In hindsight, I might not recommend that. Turns out we can stack on that damage to ourselves a little faster than I would have thought. Anyway. Great run. Hard work. Not super long, but I appreciate the effort nonetheless. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.